what's happening, Big K A back in the stand. K too good. They sleep with Kuda up a turn. You know, Big Dot. Ah, ah, you want to turn. I subscribe. Help your boy. I'll help your boy grow. A subscribe. Now nah, subscribe. Most of y'all checking out the vids ain't subscribe. Just throw your boy subscribe and I like one time. Ain't gonna hurt. Y'all been coming back. Y'all been checking out the vid. I probably made you laugh for whatever reason. Oh shit. If you want to see a nigga grow and get better, support the grind. Support the hustle. Hey, gang. You looking at it right here. I've been the alternative for a couple of these other motherfuckers. These my other motherfuckers is too polished. I just give y'all the real. But anyways, and anywho, let's talk about this shit real quick. So T.I. and Tiny, the man to be dismissed, uh, to dismiss defamation lawsuit over unpaid legal fees. So we need to talk about this. I never heard about this. Last time I reported on these two being in a case, there was apparently a case about them. Like smashing all these women and doing some, um diabolical things to them and all this shit by the way because of this diddy shit every nigga's using diabolical now is in everybody's vocabulary but anyways let's talk real quick let's talk real quick so one more try while ti and tiny are encountering some legal wins here and there they still have to put in more work when it comes to other lawsuits one of these is a 2021 filing from sabrina peterson accusing them of defamation after they denied her accusations of threats and sexual abuse oh i remember this and she was saying like yeah they be smashing all these women do yeah i did a story on this okay however an appeals court dismissed various allegations in Ju uh, june of 2023 trade li liable liba uh, internationally inflicted emotional distress and internationally neglect tampering with prospective economic advantage yo, yo these motherfuckers use these big ass words for what purpose? Still, the court did let Peterson continue her pursuit of accountability when it comes to her claims of defamation and false light invasion of privacy. Now, Tia and Tiny are asking the judge to dismiss Peterson's remaining accusations due to how she allegedly disobeyed a court order. Per a supposed court documents rep reportedly obtained by In Touch Weekly, the two posited that she hasn't paid them around 96000 in legal fees that she owes them which they think is on purpose. Sadly, this isn't the end of the of the couple's recent legal battles, although other recent events have seemingly wrapped up with ease. For example, it looks like Tip won't have to face a uh, much further headache over his Atlanta airport arrest in what might have been a case of mistaken identity. Back in this case, uh, with T.I. Tiny and Sabrina Peterson, though, here's what the uh, duo's lawyer, Andrew Bretzler, yo, by the way, no disrespect to y'all lawyers, bro, why the fuck some of y'all have some peculiar last names, bro, you gotta make a motherfucker scratch their head before they even try to pronounce this shit, but anyways, apparently, bro, she has uh, willingly violated a court order, the reported court documents supposedly read, and while wasting judicial resources, she forced ti and tiny to incur significant legal uh, fees defending a litany of claims most have uh, most have which have already been that made no sense most of which have already been thrown out there should have been a comma there uh peterson and her attorneys took advantage of the legal system by filing a kitchen sink complaint hoping that the nature of their allegations would attract enough media attention which would then in turn put pressure on ti and tiny to settle the attorney added peterson and her lawyers never had any intention of uh diligently uh, prosecuting this case furthermore this order payment comes from an additional october judgment the judge said that peter uh, peterson must cough up around ninety six thousand after the court dismissed more claims ti and tiny claim that peterson boasted on social media about not paying the couple by her due date on january 15th not only did they argue that their legal uh, battles couldn't continue until this ordered payment comes through but they also accuse peterson of abusing the court system by trying to pressure a settlement they now await a judgment on this motion to dismiss and continually deny any accusations of defamation peterson has made against them i ain't gonna lie i forgot about this case i'm not going bro there's so much shit going on I forgot about this case, my G. Like, there's so much going on with these niggas. If you don't know, there was a case of uh, Miss Peterson was like, yeah, 
T.I. and Tiny was getting women in their mansion or whatever. And they was doing such and such. They was rubbing upon them. They was touching them and fondling them in places that wasn't okay for them. And they was going brazy. So she was linking girls over there. I think at the time, like, that shit was posted in her story. I put a link in her IG link in one of the videos I did on the situation. Like, yeah, go check out other shit she talking about there. There you go. You know, woo. And, yeah, it was just, like, a crazy little scenario. And I'm like, why would T.I. do that? They're like, oh, T.I. and Tiny, they doing some shit. They just be smashing and, and all these other stuff. Now, again. If they are a married couple and they want to bring other women into the bedroom to do who knows what with and everything is consensual and agreed upon, that is their business. That is not my business. But at the end of the day, bro, like, come on now. Like, if you're doing a little too much. Now, it got to the point that, yes, this Sabrina Peterson girl was saying some shit, but other motherfuckers saying some shit. I'm like, all right, I got to talk about it, bro. It's kind of like... Honestly, bro, and I'm not gonna lie, if this happened, this exact scenario happened right now with the whole Diddy shit, oh, Lord. T.I. and Tiny, y'all would've had a tough day. Y'all would've had a tough day. So, we'll see. Also, also there's some other shit that apparently is allegedly at this point. Diddy, there was some free cops involving Diddy, Nas, T.I., and another month. Yo, bro, y'all <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, all y'all, bro, if y'all participate or do some freak off esque shit, like some diabolical esque shit that motherfuckers don't give their consent, yo ass, bro, power zoom straight to the moon. You locked in the slammer, you heard me? They say Alcatraz, Al Capone, you heard me? But yeah, we gonna see about this shit. Baby girl, bro, if you owe them niggas their money, pay their money at the end of the day. It was what it was. I still remember that story came out. I didn't want to believe it, but at that point, too many motherfuckers were coming out. I'm like, okay, I got to report on this. I was just like, hey, nigga, I don't know. I don't think a nigga would do this. But at the same time, just because I listen to the nigga's music, I don't know him. But just my idea of the nigga T.I. is I don't think he would do that. Now, if we was just talking about, oh, this nigga was there. If a girl just came out like Tiny was like disrespecting her and she's like oh you know your husband fucked me i'm like eh, if you a good look good enough looking girl yeah i could see t.i you know doing this thing but like yeah it's just, it's just some scenarios bro again yeah this shit was quiet for a minute too anyways <laughs> i gave niggas the whole rundown anyways man hey your friendly neighbor k.a sign off for today black tj there while i'm doing this thing name remembers like quasimodo he likes this guy trying to live a motor here i'm gone slams on peace i Thank you.